Hi, uh, hi, how are you? My name is Connor Judge. I'm a consultant nephrologist and senior lecturer in applied clinical data analytics. To, to, today I'm going to talk about uh, testing um, artificial intelligence interventions using pr pragmatic trials. So for, 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 for this talk, I'm wearing quite, quite a few hats. Uh, pr prior to medicine, I was an electronic and computer engineer. Um, then went back to medicine and uh, did my higher specialist training to uh, become a consultant nephrologist. Um, during this time, I was supported by the HRB and Wellcome Trust, um, and I was on the first co cohort of the, the, the Irish Clinical Academic uh, Training uh, to, to do a, a, a PhD in, in epidemiology and biostats supervised by Professor Martin O'Donnell and Professor Martin O'Halloran. I was based in the Transma Translational Medical Device Lab. Um, I'm now funded by the HRB through the HRB Clinician Science Fel Fellowship. And in my spare time, I'm the co-director of the, the Masters in Applied Clinical da 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 uh, Data Analytics. And that, that, that's a Masters we've set up in Galway to teach he healthcare workers to code uh, the basis of research methodology and how to ask and answer a research question using uh, data. So the, the, the AI cl clinical decision support system that, that, that we're developing, the patient journey here is that the patient comes into their, their primary care physician. Um, all of their information is co collected in the, 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 the electronic health record. And in Ireland, we, we have a great, um, great uh, system of, of, of electronic health records for primary care, um, Socrates being, being the most, most common. The, the AI cl clinical decision support system then a, 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 a extracts the information that it requires, and at the centre of it is a neural network that, that's been trained on the uh, um, decision making that happened in um, a high quality ra randomised control trial called SPRINT. SPRINT uh, what, what was, a, was a trial with 9,500 patients in it, and that represented 140,000 times that a patient sat in front of a SPRINT investigator, and they had to use all the data about the patient to make a decision to increase, reduce, or no change in the antihypertensives. And that's the, the expertise that we want to put in the hands of the, 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 the primary care physician. The AI clinical decision support system then makes a recommendation, but it's the ultimate responsibility of the, uh, of the doctor to decide what, what, the, uh, what the patient gets. So for, for this grant, we're, we're um, doing external validation of the model in, in another trial called Accord and in the UK Biobank. Uh, we, we also have uh, AI tr trust and, 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 and acceptability work, work package work packages. We're doing a survey about the perceptions of use of AI in hypertension for, for, for both pa patients and for physicians looking after patients. Uh, we have human factors experiments uh, looking at user-centered design. How, how will AI explainability tools be translated for, for phys physicians? Um, we have a public uh, patient involvement right from the very start in every, every aspect of this. Uh, fi finally, we're doing a prospective comparative evaluation, and we're going to do this through the Health Research Board Primary Care cl Clinical Trials uh, um, Network, where, where we recruit patients, take their hypertension scenarios, bring them back to our lab, pass them into the AI clinical decision support system, compare that to a gold standard panel, uh, which is a nephrologist, an endocrinologist, and primary care physician, to see whether the AI clinical decision support system makes decisions a a as good as the gold standard panel. And th this is a quite a low bar that the, the FDA requires for, for, for approval for clinical decision support systems. So I'm often asked what is needed to ensure that AI in healthcare is safe. Um, so so I, I, I ask people to, to, to reframe this and, and think about what is needed to ensure that medications in, in healthcare are safe and then and 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 then then the answer is easy. We need a high quality uh, phase three randomized cl clinical trials. So uh, everyone in this room knows what, what a randomized clinical trial is, but it's a good exercise to think about how an AI um, intervention would, would be tested in a ra randomized clinical trial. So, so, so a, a patient comes into a clinical research facility, they're recruited, and they're randomized to a pathway that includes an, 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 an AI um, intervention. So this could be a computer vision model, a natural language processing model, a, a machine learning predictive model, or an AI cl clinical decision support system. 
or they could be randomized to a pathway that there isn't use of an AI system. We follow them up in time, we count the outcomes, and if there's a difference in the outcomes be between the two groups, then we know there's a causal relationship between a pathway that includes the AI um, 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 intervention and, and the, the, the outcome. So the research vision here is a, a, a pipeline for AI in healthcare. When we have potential new medications, they go through preclinical pre pre research, phase one, phase two, and fa fa phase three uh, trials before being approved by the FDA. We must test the potential new AI models with this same uh, ri ri rigor that we test um, medications. So I, I, I gave, gave, uh, gave a t TEDx talk about this, and it was on, on, on YouTube, and it was seen by uh, this, this guy, Professor Burns. Uh, he's retired now. Um, he's a professor of biostats in, um, in Vanderbilt, and he, he says he's been, been advocating for this for years, and he's even wrote a book about it called Artificial Intelligence for Improved Patient Outcomes. So if some people are interested in this, I highly recommend that book, and it's shaped a lot of my thoughts around this. So he advocates for pragmatic clinical trials. Instead of a patient coming into a clinical research facility to be recruited, to be brought back at three months, six months, uh, tw tw 12 months, to be asked simple questions, have you had a stroke, have you had an MI? Um, they're recruited once at the very start in a pragmatic trial, and then at the end of the trial, we link to, 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 to routinely um, and collected um, and data to see whether they've had the, the stroke or the MI or, or have died. So how do we build a pr pragmatic uh, trial infrastructure in Ireland? Well, we need r routinely collected data, and we, we've lots of that. Do we need a full electronic health record? And the answer is no. Um, we, we, we have good collection of, 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 of the outcome data. So all of the, 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 the things that happen in between um, is, is, isn't required for this qu question. Do we need to do da da data linkage? And we absolutely do. And the, 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 the individual health identifier, the, the new HSE individual health identifier, far will, will really help this. So potential um, things to link in Ireland, uh, the Central Statistics Office mortality data, um, the National Office of Cl 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 Clinical Audit, stroke and MI data, uh, the Primary Care Reimbursement Service for medications, and the, the hospital inpatient inquiry for, 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 for hospitalization data. So I'm going to show you how we have started to build the pieces of, 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 of this jigsaw and how we've been supported by the HRB to do this. So um, we, we've, we applied for the HRB secondary data and analysis uh, pro projects. And the, 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 the first time we did this was, was, was led by one, one of my colleagues, uh, David Kane, he's down in the audience. And the, the, the central research question here was, what is the mortality rate for, for hemodialysis patients in Ireland? And in 2025, it's very embarrassing to say in Ireland, we actually don't know. So, so th 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 this is what this project is going to answer. And in this, we, 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 we've linked um, the, the EMED data, so that's our electronic health record for nephrology, with, with the Central Statistics Office uh, more, 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 uh, mortality data. Um, as part, part of this, we, 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 for, we, we formed a large group to, to apply uh, for, 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 for this. So one of the side effects of this is now we're, we're able to easily link with the Central Statistics Office uh, mortality uh, data, and now we have one of the pieces of the puzzles for the uh, pragmatic trials. Uh, I'm a nephrologist, so progression to, to end-stage kidney disease is close to my heart, and we, our fee, 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 fee vehicle for getting this connection was through the Public Service Innovation Fund um, was called Automated Extraction of Ki Kidney Failure Concepts from Clinical Notes Using AI. In Ireland, we have an electronic health record for nephrology patients called EMED, mixture of structured and un un unstructured data. The so unstructured data is the clinic note and a uh, very rich source of information, but it's all locked in there. So we, 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 we used a natural la language processing model called BERT, originally de developed by, by Google. Um, everyone in this audience has, has used BERT before. If, 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 if you type into to, 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 to the Google search engine, um, the fields of, and it predicts the next word is Aten Rai. I, I'm, 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 I'm from Aten Rai. Uh, uh, that's BERT that powers that. So we, we, we got, 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 got huge buy-in from, from, from the HSE, including uh, Professor Richard Green, the, the Chief uh, Clinical Information uh, uh, um, Officer. 
And there's great interest in applying natural language processing inside the HSC, and we were asked to, 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 to talk about this a few times. Um, on the back of this and pre previous work that P Professor Stack in Lim Limerick had, had done, there was a, an, an, a, a national end-stage kidney disease a consensus meeting that was also or, or, or organised by, 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 by David Keane to bring the patients, the HSC, eHealth Ireland, the nephrologists all, all into one room to, to plan this. And uh, we, we, uh, we, we want to treat the data validation for the registries with, with the same uh, ri ri um, um, rigor that we do for, 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 for clinical trials, where, where, where we have an, an automated uh, checks, manual checks and, and queries. And uh, the HSE has funded this through Spark. Um, stroke uh, was the ne 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 next outcome. Uh, so the, 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 this is uh, the, the, the second um, 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 STAP we did, where we wanted to link EMED with the NOCA uh, stroke um, 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 audit to answer research questions about stroke risk factors for hemodialysis patients, but with a secondary gain of uh, being able to link for our pragmatic trials. We're also interested in cancer and, 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 and uh, hospitalization for time. Let's get back to this. A bit we're missing is a GPU cluster for the HSE. So we applied to the SFI um, infrastructure grant to, to build a 1 million euros um, a gra graphical processing unit a cluster for, 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 for the HSE. We got a score of 4.5 out of 5, but we're below the, the, the funding line. So if anyone knows where we can get a million euros, uh, send me an email at Connor Judge at University of Galway. Thanks a million.